So this cool space station design. Can we look at some of the elements here? Sure. This is. The, I, th oh, I think this, this is Space Dock One. I think so. Because I see the ball and I see the spokes. The yep. Desk and spokes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Some ships can dock underneath. Some mm -hmm. go above this level. It's neat. It does seem a little inefficient in the number of ships, but that's okay. I think. Right. So from what I've seen from the Kelvin timeline, Starfleet is weak. So they're not yet worried about density because they mm -hmm. they just don't have that many ships. Right. So they they're like personnel and building ships is more important than like efficiency of design of the space station. I they're, they're just not pressed for space yet. They're yeah. not pressed for efficiency. Mm -hmm. I also saw in a slightly different frame, there's this ship. What is this? Yeah, super weird. A red ship. I mean, that that looks like a saucer, right? Looks like a saucer. And it looks like the nacelles are the similar shape as Starfleet nacelles. Yeah. So I think this is Starfleet. But what is going on? Like, what is this? It's super weird. Well, I mean, it looks like Starfleet design because Starfleet design is saucer plus nacelles. Right. And it looks like science a science vessel that I've seen in other shows. Oh, really? But well, red? it's kind of... Well, the Enterprise has like pylons with the mm -hmm, nacelles mm -hmm. on top. Whereas the science vessels have like a saucer with the nacelles much closer. That's what I've seen. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so for example, Picard's the constellation, if mm -hmm. I remember, it was a saucer with two nacelles underneath. Yeah. As opposed to the Enterprise that has these, these pylons that come out here. Right. So a red, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a, a color, like whatever, it's just color. Right. But just, Starfleet made one hot rod. <laughs> What, what is this? Right. <laughs> Cause it's got typically the nacelles are on either side. I've never seen mm -hmm. three nacelles, one centered and then painted red. Cause it's a painted, hot <laughs> I mean, the nacelles come up in different configurations. Sometimes I've seen like four, I mean, I've even seen one yeah. that was two on top, two on bottom. And it was like a red thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, yeah. I don't know what that is, but it, it's really bothering me that this is red because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen any other Starfleet vessel painted red. So what's going on with this? Gosh, let's think in militaries today, they'll paint different things, different colors like based on, stuff. Well, I was thinking a training vessel. Okay. So like drones, I think are orange. Okay. So if you see, a, if you see something flying around, that's a drone that is for testing or for something that is peaceful, then it'll if be you see orange. blue, blue with yellow wingtips. It's blue angels, blue angels. So maybe this is like, this could be maybe for show. It could be maybe for training. Okay. And so it's not that. actually for combat. And so the red is designating it's the hot rod. We do the flybys yeah. for delegates and stuff. This is the admiral's <laughs> private starship <laughs> for delegates. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe. maybe, I mean, now that I think about it, if you don't want to show VIPs like working vessels with all the clutter and stuff, you want like a vessel that shows off Starfleet's cool ships, but is ready to take them on board. Hmm. So this is your diplomatic ship. That's kind of cool. I buy it. Sure. Maybe one, Maybe. one possibility. Hmm. 